everybody. Uh, you might want to grab a coffee because this is probably going to be a little bit um, long, this video. I've got three journals to share with you guys today. Um, I'll just give you a quick glance of the three. I've got those and then this tome. Um, so let's just get started with this one first. This one I've named Botanical. This is a uh, Nick the Booksmith course type journal, meaning that it's all been constructed by hand. Um, I think sometimes maybe people might confuse my journals with being altered books, and these are not. Um, so, getting started, this is using um, my porch prints, uh, butterfly collage papers. And I love it. I love how these have come out. Um, I've aged it. This is fabric. Um, and I don't know if I've pointed that out, but all of these books, when I construct them, they've got fabric over, um, you know, they've been covered with fabric, and then I often go over them with some sort of um, image from whatever kit I might be working with, uh, rather than... Um, and they, most of them are painted, um, so that's another thing that goes into uh, constructing these. So I've got a book plate here, um, and then inside, we just jump straight in, um, another just mix of scrapbooking papers I've got along with these butterfly collage because they coordinate really nice. Um, so obviously it's a very much a nature-themed uh, journal. Excuse me, I needed a drink there. So, uh, hand-torn some of the pages um, here, just a little tuck spot with a, this is a Tracy Fox um, tag from her shop. And then here I've just uh, collaged some of the paper into a tag. And then this is some vintage lace I've stitched to this little pocket. And that's been backed onto a book page. This is some old um, wallpaper I've turned into uh, a pocket here. Yeah, that's all been glued down, so you've got pocket inside there. These are really, really sturdy. Um, some vellum paper that I've printed out on. And then this is some um, stitching that I've done on the machine. There are over 160 <coughs> pages in this journal. And here I've just created a double pocket. This is using one of the window envelopes. I've just reversed it. So you got a double pocket here because I've got, I've got to find some way to use a thousand envelopes. So, <laughs> um, But those have worked out really nice for the pocket. Lots of little places to um, journal as usual. I always, uh, most of my journals uh, have quite a lot of writing space. Oh, excuse me. Uh, this is some um, vintage uh, butterfly. It's an old butterfly book uh, page that I've included. Aren't those absolutely beautiful? And then this was from a butterfly book as well, but it was just some of the, the page itself, so it all coordinated nicely. And that is the center of the signature. I love those papers. I've used those so much. She's got absolutely gorgeous uh, papers in her shop. Here is a, um, a double pocket made from an Edith Holden book page. And, and then here I've just taken <coughs> some of this. Um, this was kind of inspired from Artie Mays. Because she, I believe she's the one that I saw had taken some of these uh, plastic Oh uh, gosh, you know, that you put inside your um, notebooks and turn them into a pocket. I'm pretty sure that was already maze. And then I've just got a couple of tags stuck in there. This is just some off cuts that I had. Um, and I just turned them into a little notepad there. And then this, I love how this came out. This was decoupaged onto an envelope, so that opens up. So you've got another little pocket there. And then I've got the little safety pin 
in the center of that die cut. And I love how that's coming out against that craft paper. I think it stands out really nice. And this was just a craft envelope I ran through the printer. A bit more collaging with some of the papers. This flips over, and then you've got a tag inside. This is a uh, vintage seed packet labels from France. Some more stitching. Love that page. That's another vintage um, book page I got, and I kicking myself because I didn't make a note of what the name of that book was because I wish I could purchase that again. It had beautiful images in there. And then just another little collage tag. This is a pocket made out of a book page that's been collaged on. I have more vellum that I printed out. I love how those, um, those papers print out beautifully on the vellum. If you've got them, <coughs> you might want to give that a try. This is a little flip out here with a pocket, and then another little journal card. It's been tucked in here. And then one of the Tim Holtz um, photo plate. And then I've tucked in <coughs> some little um, mini Rolodex cards. I like the way those <clears throat> look when they're in here. It's a little bit snug. I may have to loosen that up a bit. I think I will. I'll leave that out and I'll loosen it up a little bit. And it's just full of all sorts of little journal cards and tags from various... Most of these are Tracy Fox. So if you're looking for some tiny elements for your journals, she has beautiful ephemera in her uh, shop. And then this is an envelope here, so you've got another pocket back here as well. And then this is another uh, pocket I've created with some book page and then just added a bit more to the cover so that flips over. you got a nice little writing space there. That's the center of the second signature. And then this is, um, this page is from Tracy's shop and I have taken that and put beeswax over it so you've created and I've got another little pocket there and a pocket behind. So there's a lot of room to still add quite a lot to this. Um, and then this is a little tuck spot there and that was one of my 100 day challenge projects where you just take little circles and turn them into little flowers. <clears throat> I had a paper can take paper book pages, so that's another good way to use up your book pages. Here's another um, envelope pocket. Got some parchment paper that I added to this journal, and then the rest of the stuff I've tried to make sure is tea dyed, and then just a mix from, uh, um, you know, of papers along with the butterfly. And then this is another little pocket I made here. And just put some lace behind and then stamp this. It's a big journal. A lot of room for filling up with, um, with memories. And then this flips over so you've got more writing space here. This is another old floral book page I've got. I love those <coughs> images. And then this is just another little scrappy notepad. Another journal card. A bit more vellum that's been printed. I love this page. This, um, you've got a pocket here and then this flips out. So you've got two pockets and then this pocket. 
And then on the back, you've got room to journal, so I really like how that's come out. Another uh, tag in that pocket back there. And then uh, I put another little tag in here as well. Doily that's been tea dyed. Here I've made a flip out with um, some old, uh, I believe this was a tablecloth, and that's all been uh, embroidered. I thought that was really pretty. Oh, yeah, and this is really, I got this in a bundle of um, postcards. Look at that, it's, it's just a huge card. like that. Oh, the bird. I think that's really nice. So you can do some journaling behind that as well. That's the other side of that envelope pocket. The other side of the um, vintage book page. And then this is a little tuck spot I've created here. And then this is one of the um, double flips. So you can journal. And then there's a, um, a pocket here and a journal card here that I've made. It's got a little button and a label there. In fact, I might just put this, just tuck that in there, I think. And that is the back of the journal. So, and then that's the back cover. It feels really nice. I love the feel of these. Okay, so we'll move on to the others. <coughs> Let me just check my time here. Okay, so that's the three signature. Now these are two signatures, and this one I have named Autumn Floral. And um, they, everything's got uh, closure with a sorry silk. I don't know if I said that on that tome, but it's all sorry silk closures. And this one's not attached. You could easily attach it if you wanted to with a couple eyelets, but I kind of like them without it. Um, okay, this is an envelope that's been reinforced. I've put... Um, now this is the new kit that I've purchased. I'm not a designer for, um, I think it's Louise Hensel. I will put a link, um, well I won't put a link to her shop, but I will put her name in the description box so you can check if you're interested in it. She, the very unusual um, design. Um, kind of on the contemporary side I would say, maybe like a vintage contemporary twist. Uh, but I love it. It's it's very unique to anything I've worked with, so that's what drew me to it. Um, this is an envelope. I put the images and then beeswax, and then I've done lots of layering with corrugated cardboard, vintage laces. You can just see it's just been built up, and lots of um, lots of vintage lace in this. So that's the front, and that's how the back looks, and it. I just love how these feel when they've got the beeswicks on them. So on the front, I've got, this is one of the tags that's in the kit. And these are some of the images. And I have, to, you know, size some slightly different so that I could, um, I wouldn't say they're huge kits. Uh, but if you're, you know, creative and can come up with some pocket ideas on your own things. They're, they are nice. The pages are what the reason I purchased it. Um, and both of these journals are a mix of two kits, so you just have to have a look around. And uh, But you can see it's it's got some contemporary element to it, but the images are still very vintage, I think. Um, belly band here. This is one of the journal tags. I love it, love it, love it. Um, like a watercolor type, and then I've stitched around that, and then this 
I just created a little journal card that's just been tucked in this little glassine envelope. Um, the journals are very similar, but I will do a quick flip through of the other so you can see the difference. Because I, I try to make, you know, some, some variation in my journals because I don't want them to all be a set formula. I just, that would bore me. <laughs> I, I would just go stir crazy if I was doing the same stuff over and over. Um, old vintage pages in this um, from various books. This is some tracing paper that I've um, tea dyed. It came out really dark, almost like a coffee dye, so that's beautiful. And this is another of the pages. More vintage book page. A little pocket I've made. And then just various things from um, my stash that coordinated some trim along there. This has got some coffee dyed and tea dyed papers. And then just, like I said, you get the small tags in the kit, but... Um, you know, there aren't any large ones. There's, there's not, they're not big kits, but they are beautifully done. I like it. I, I, I just like the different layering of it. Um, I don't know. There's something about it that just really appeals to me. Um, there's one of the little uh, tags that comes coffee dyeing. I love how that came out. And then this was um, just an old vintage button that I put on a um, I've aged all of these paper clips in this journal. And then this is some decoupage onto um, a tag. Just some little glass beads in the centers of the signatures. Sorry, I'm going to have to sit down for a minute. Okay, and then on this page, this is one of the tags that comes. Beautiful. Um, and as I said, I can't recall offhand the uh, names of these, but you'll you'll find them easy enough. She, it's not a huge shop, so you don't have to uh, go through too many kits, but you'll find them. But I have combined two two kits in this. This just a little snippet with various bits of um, vintage laces and trims, and then. Another little journal card. Now this is from Artie Mays, this journal card. Love those pages. And I love how that tags come out. This was um, some of that textured wallpaper sample I got years ago. Um, <laughs> I've probably told this story so many times. But there was an interior designer who was closing up, and she was throwing out book after book um, of her samples. And I just, I got in that dumpster. I'm not kidding. I was in the dumpster um, pulling that stuff out. And I love this because it, there was nothing wrong with it. it she, she just was going out of business. And uh, it's got a beautiful texture. So I backed it with um, the coffee dyed paper. But that is a gorgeous tag because I love that color. Um, deep purple is, yeah, I just love it. Old um, vintage book page, just some craft, well, kind of like a shipping type paper. And then here I've created another tuck spot here. And uh, let me just make sure, let me lift this up a bit. Sorry, I'll give you guys, I'll zoom out a bit more there. Um, uh, created this flower. You, you've seen those. I do those. And then I've done stenciling. And like I said, a little, just a real mix of vintage book pages and this. It's more journaling room behind that. Some tracing paper. I did a little bit of stencil on that just to see how that would come out. And then this is another of the journal cards. I love that journal. Parted. They're just beautiful. And then this is another of the little the little tags that come in the kit, but they are pretty. Here I've created a little flip over and um, there's a pocket 
here that you can add some things and then the little little tuck place with just various things there. That page beautiful. Yeah, it was really nice to um, to work with somebody different. It's been a while. Um, and I quite like it because, you know, everybody's got their style and I love them all equally, but sometimes it's nice to just um, mix it up a bit just to kind of spark your creativity again. Um, this is just, you know, a little, another little, I uh, backed this onto a um, index card and stitched around. And then this is just one of those Regency fold <coughs> papers that's been tea dyed, so lots of journal space. Some uh, piano music paper. And then here's just another little pocket. And I've tucked that little journal card in. And then this is just another old button that I've put onto that um, paper clip and then I've stitched around that. I love those journal cards. They are beautiful. This is some handmade paper I've put inside. It has a really nice feel to that. And this is another old vintage book page. Copy dyed paper. Oh, isn't that a beautiful page? Look at that. Yeah, uh, I, I will definitely be uh, working with these again. <clears throat> More old pages. And that's a beautiful page. I love that. And then this is just a little tuck spot that I've made with some book page and music sheet and then some old fabric and stitched on that stenciling behind. I believe these have got about 144 pages, so they're big journals as well. <clears throat> for two signatures, it's a lot of pages, you know, for writing in. And then another uh, pocket here with another journal card. And then this, I've just stamped onto some tea dyed paper. That's another one of the little tags that's included and then this is just a mini uh, file folder. That's another one of the um, tags from the kit. Beautiful. So yeah, I, <clears throat> I printed some of the pages out and then just created pockets myself because, you know, it didn't really have there's a few pockets in one of the kits, and I'll show you that in the next journal. Isn't that a beautiful uh, tag? Love it. And then this is what I, I created, a big pocket there, and then you've got a pocket back here as well. So there is that journal, and I'm going to stop the camera now before I start the other one because I'm almost out of time, guys, so I'll be right back. Welcome back. Okay, this is the second journal, um, or second envelope journal. <clears throat> this one I've named Autumn Whispers. <clears throat> These aren't particularly autumn uh, themed kits, but I think the way they've done, <clears throat> it kind of gives the feeling of autumn to me. Again, <clears throat> this is the um, envelope. And I've covered it with beeswax. And I love how this has come out. Now this has been inspired by uh, the Shabby Soul. One of her journals, um, she did this. but She turned the book plate horizontal <coughs> and, and had the button. And it was absolutely stunning. So um, I had to pinch that idea. hope she doesn't mind. But uh, I absolutely love, love her work. So this one, um, one of the things <coughs> I experimented with a bit on this one, and I do like it, I didn't do it on that one, um, is I took a little bit of gold um, and just lightly 
put little bits along the pages. I don't know, just something, you know, playing around, trying some different things. As I said, a lot of the things, uh, you will see some <coughs> elements are the same. But then I have added some things that are a little bit different in each of the journals. This is uh, another one of the pages. Gorgeous. I, th I just... I just really love these. She's a very, very talented artist. <clears throat> another vintage book page here. Um, another little belly band that I've made. And then I uh, just did a bit of collaging on that postcard. Just bits and pieces. And then I made another little journal card out of some scraps. So you can do some writing back there. And then that's all been <coughs> stamped onto muslin and stitched around. Don't know why my throat's uh, playing up today. I hadn't noticed it bother me until I start talking. But I suppose the weather's starting to change again here. Uh, more book page. Some ledger here. I've just got various... Things. That's another one of the tags. Beautiful. Bit of the gold. Just very subtle because I didn't want anything too crazy. But I like it. I like how that's come out. And then here, this is a couple more of the journal cards from the kit. And then this is just one of the little envelopes from Tracy's shop. Now this... <clears throat> this was gifted to me by um, Tracy, and this was an old uh, envelope, and I've created a little pocket here with a um, journal card inside, and then I just made this little snippet up there. I love that. That's I just think that screams autumn to me. <clears throat> now these are the the you do get four of these little pockets. Um, She's kind of collaged them and scanned them, I guess. Um, so those in, do come in the um, yellow kit. And then this is an old um, tea card um, out of the paid, you know, the books that, that you can collect them on. So that's, that's, that's true vintage there. And then this little ticket or tag back there. And a bit more stenciling and just a little bit of the gold just to kind of spruce it up. Um, this is another one of the, in fact, add on to a tea dyed uh, index card. Another little pocket here. Very similar to the other. Like I said, I'll probably have to speed this up, otherwise, we're going to be, it'll be taking ages to. Uh, Oh yeah, this is some handmade paper. That's that's got the fern designer. I've got these in my shop. Um, I've not um, done really a project showcasing those, but I have taken those and created digital downloads. So if you're interested in those, those are in my shop. Um, obviously, this is the real the real deal here. But um, if you want to check those out, to um, to download those, they they do come out very pretty. So you can see, just uh, very similar, but yet you know the pages are different, slightly different. Some more of the little glass beads, and then the, the some of the pages with the you know, the digital pages are slightly different as well. Oh, I do love that paper. Old old pages here. And just more, you know, journaling cards. Here's another um, little tuck spot there. More of the piano music curl paper and one of the Regency fold tea dyed. Another little snippet with various bits from my stash. And here's another little pocket and then another little notepad. Oh, I love that page. Oh, that's beautiful. I 
And then here's another envelope that I've turned into a pocket. And then you've got all these little, little bits to journal on. Hmm. They're beautiful papers. Here I've created a big pocket, and I love that bee. Little seed packet. That's from Tracy's shop. And then here we've got another little pocket there. Another little journal card. old uh, book page there. That's a German. Oh no, it's not German, but it's showing the Germany stamps. Another old book page. This is another pocket. Oh, I love how that coffee dye came out. And this is a beautiful book page here. Um, some more handmade paper. And then that's another of the pages from the kit. Isn't it beautiful? Really, really pretty papers. Hmm. Excuse me, there's another of the uh, journal cards from the kit, and then that one is as well. If I'm not mistaken, this one's it's something along the lines of a green is the name of that kit, whereas the other one is yellow. I think I may have purchased three kits, actually. <laughs> I can't remember. I think I did end up, in the end, three kits I bought from her. Um, and then here... I love that tag with the pansies, aren't they gorgeous? Little pocket. This is another flip up I've made. Um, this is some uh, coffee dyed paper. Doesn't that come out beautiful? Very rich color, and then I got a little bit of the gold and then stenciling. Um, here's a little window pocket. And then I created that little journal card and then backed it with some tea dyed paper. And then this is another little tuck spot here. Just some die cut and collage papers from the scrap pile. I love how it's so simple, but sometimes those are my favorite embellishments are the ones that you haven't planned them. They just seem to happen when you're clearing out your, your stash. <laughs> um, here, this is another little envelope from my stash. Little tag. And this is another of the journaling cards from that kit. And this has got a, a little tuck spot here, and then it flips out, as you can see, and I've put a little tab there. And then this back here comes in the kit, and you get, um, you get this, and then you can obviously cut out. And then these little cards come with it. I thought that was really sweet. For the back page, I thought that was just perfect. And then I took this element, just fussy cut it, and put on there. Okay, so that is Autumn. I've named that one uh, Autumn Whisper. The other one is Autumn Floral. And then the Tome is botanical and those are in my shop so if you're interested in those um, and I guess while I've got time let me just show you very quickly something else I've decided and I'll be right back okay so welcome back 
All right, so um, that's the end of the flip throughs. I just thought very quickly I'll show you guys what I've decided to add to the shop. You know, I had a whole bundle of the French. These are genuine uh, seed packet labels from France. And I've got so many of them, I'm never, ever going to be able to, to use them. So what I've decided to do, rather than dividing them up, and let me just try to explain a bit. Um, because I'm shipping from the UK, if I try to bundle these up into small bundles, the amount of money I'd have to charge to send these tracked and signed for is just not worth it to people. Um, and I know you're, some, some, some people are going to say, well, you don't have to send it tracked and signed. Well, I do. Because I have tried to just send things standard international. And... Um, that's not worked out, and I'm not going to give reasons for it. You can just, you know, let your imagination, <laughs> you know, it just doesn't work. So I have to send everything tracked and signed for. So the reason, it's just, if I were to try to divide these up into small packets, you know, the, it just, I can't, I, the shipping would be more than the items. So what I've decided to do, and this isn't, you know, there's probably only going to be a very small percentage of, of my viewers that are even interested in this, but they're going to be in the shop as a bundle, and I can tell you, I've not counted these, but there's got to be over a thousand labels. Um, and I will just say, I'm sending these as I received them. I've not done anything to them. Some of them are bent, <laughs> but this is how they came when I purchased them. Uh, but this is a mix of all kinds of labels. I mean, it's just all sorts of different things are in here. So, you know, if it's something that you're interested in, I'm going to put them in the shop, and um, I think what I'm going to do is just price them with the shipping included. That way, you know, there's no surprises at checkout because this is going to cost me about $20 to ship um, because I have to send it international signed and tracked. But look at these. I mean, I'm guessing. I don't know. There's got to be probably close on 60 pages, maybe, maybe closer to 100 of those. And the little seed packet labels, like I said, I think the whole bundle's got to be in excess of a thousand. So they're just a mix. Most of them are duplicates. You can see there's there's loads of those. Um, so you know, if you're interested, you can. I'll just try to flip through so you can see what you're even bidding on. You know, would be bidding on because they were duplicates. This is it. Just came in this massive box and I wanted the re the vintage receipts. I didn't really want these but it all came as a bundle so um, so anyways those are going to be in the shop guys if you're interested um, I, I think the person that this would appeal to is probably somebody with a shop who has the time to divide them up but I can't do it from here. If I was based in the US I could but um, so anyways those will be in there as well and then the journals. The journals will be listed. So you guys have a great rest of the week. And I'll be back here very soon. Bye.